Hello everybody, welcome back to Code 4 Gaming, we're here in Emergency Response for another Game Pass review. Now this is the SWAT Game Pass updated, because we've had quite a few uh, updated things in this Game Pass, so we're going to be having a look at that today. So the first thing we unlock is the SWAT uniform. Pretty nice uniform, looks uh, amazing I reckon. We've got the SWAT logo on the back, the little badge on the side, and the police on the front. The other things we'll have access to if you get the SWAT Game Pass is the battering ram, ballistic shield, the SWAT vest, the helmet, and the safety rope. So there are two types of vests, that one for more blockier characters, and we also have the 2.0 vest, which if we wear this here, just like that. And wearing this actually reduces 15% of the bullet damage you'd get. Also using the radio, you move your arm over to the physical radio on your jacket, which I think it is amazing. Uh, I think that key detail there is uh, very well done in terms of the developers. The other thing we'll have access to is the police SWAT helmet. We'll equip that and the safety rope. If we look at the top right corner, we have the helmet option now in our menu bar. So selecting that, we have the face mask, face shield, flashlight, goggles, and headset. And the remove hat helmet just gets rid of any uh, particles or hair sticking above the helmet, just neatening it up. So that's what it looks like with everything equipped with the SWAT uniform, the ballistic uh, vest there, the bulletproof vest, and the helmet. Also, next thing we'll be looking at is the battering ram. This item is super helpful for breaking into wanted fugitive's house. You just smash the glass and get in. The safety rope is a rope that allows you to get onto buildings, uh, higher objects, pretty much anything in the game. You just select where you want it on the building or spot, street light, whatever. Uh, so R and F is to extend and retract. So you can just pull yourself up here. Just give it a sec. There we go. So we're now floating and if I can retract that. And you're kind of just floating in midair, which is nice. You also have this same thing on the rescue team. So that is with the hazmat or fire fire rescue pack. Uh, over here, we're now going to be looking at the ballistic shield. So this blocks 100% of all bullets coming towards you. So I've just got my friend here just going to uh, shoot up the shield. As you can see, not taking any damage. Drawing your attention to the right corner of the screen. Our health bar, not going down at all. Uh, so as you can see that even shooting directly at the shield, it is ineffective. It's the same with all guns. Uh, in this case, I've got the, her using the uh, M1911. However, if you are shot from the side, so next to the ballistic shield, you do actually take damage. So it's always best to face the shooter head on. We also have the option for H to flash. So that blinds the suspect for about three seconds. So... In this case, she won't be able to see for those three seconds, and those are that's a valuable time you can use to bust the suspect. Now, just in this case, we've just got shot with an entire clip of ammunition from that gun, and we're not dead. That is thanks to the bullet reduction uh, from using the ballistic uh, vest that we have on, 15% uh, reduced damage. We're now going to have a look at the police guns. So just at the Liberty Guns and Ammo Store again, we have the Oris T9000. Now this is a SWAT only sniper that is very handy in the game to take down all kinds of suspects. Now, I'm just gonna zoom in there. So we've got a direct headshot. So that'll be take out the suspect pretty much or do 80% of the damage. Bit further away this time. Bang, straight headshot, dead accurate. Precision is amazing on this thing. Again. Headshot, right there, perfect. Going again, bang, perfect. Not missing at all, this thing is precise as anything, bang. As you can see, we got headshots on all those things, direct hits, absolutely insane in terms of power. Uh, this is a great gun for engaging uh, enemy snipers and heavy suspects. Next up, we have the G36, G36C, uh, mid-range patrol rifle. So it's a machine gun, as you can see there. Yeah. So I'm just doing, you get 31 bullets in the clip. So really good. So a lot of the time you'll be getting center of mass shots. So that uh, shoulders down to the leg shots and the occasional headshot during your barrage of bullets. So just there, we've got a couple of headshots, mainly that body there though. And a couple of those bullets hit the wall. This gun is super Great if you're engaging uh, armored suspects. It can 
literally take them down in a less than an entire clip, just do 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 dead. So I definitely recommend this uh, if you do get the SWAT game pass to use this weapon because it is absolutely insane. A couple of those bullets hit the wall, but for the most part, it is a great weapon with really high accuracy. And with a clip of 31 bullets, compared to the sniper only having 5. Just going across, still good accuracy, so that was all center of mass shots. So a really good gun all round. Time to have a look at some of the vehicles and textures that we get with the SWAT Game Pass. So our first vehicle we'll be looking at is the SWAT truck. This is an unlockable vehicle if you get the Game Pass. Uh, and it is a physical vehicle you can drive around in. It is not a texture or a livery, as other people would call it. So this looks absolutely amazing. So we've got the RCPD, so River City Police Department, our SWAT team. Uh, we'll just have a look at that in free camera. Yep, so River City Police, you can see that. Got the awesome light bar on top and down the bottom, the bull bar there. And this car is heavily armored. Great vehicle. Uh, you've got four things you can step onto and hold onto. So we'll go around and there's two on each side there. So you can have your mates jump onto your car. There are also six seats. So two in the front, two in the middle and two in the back. Perfect for rolling up on gangs with your friends big group of uh, police or even just transporting criminals another great thing about this car is that health it is practically invincible if they've got you've got five guys with m249s and they empty all their ammo this car will still be standing strong one drawback though is if i just crash here it is literally impossible to get out of small uh holes or ditches or even here not even a ditch the wheel is unable to get us up which is kind of unfortunate but it is a good car all round. Next up is the Chevlon commuter van. Now this is the police van and it has a SWAT texture on it. So this is unlockable in the customized uh, menu. You'll have access to this. Oh, it's not letting me spawn it in. Hang on, we'll try again. There we go. So if this doesn't, the, the texture doesn't affect the actual car, but it does uh, affect the look of the car. So it is, uh, Simply cosmetics, it doesn't actually improve or deprove uh, the stats of the car. So as here, we've got the police, special weapons and tactics team. Oh, well, special weapons and tactics. Uh, that's the back of the car, so looking amazing. This is a uh, logistics car, I guess, or even you can use it for whatever you want for role play situations, but it is a good all-rounder and can be used in pretty much all situations. Driving on the van is pretty decent, uh, super fast, it's got decent maneuverability and uh, another good all-rounder in terms of a vehicle. And we've got that access point of our trunk from behind. It also can carry six people, which is kind of cool. Next up we have the Chevlon Camion PPV. Again, this is another car with the SWAT texture that we have unlocked. So this is more a rapid response type car. You got an active shooter or a situation where you need to respond to relatively quickly. This is the car to go with. You can just speed up there and it looks absolutely amazing. So we've got the SWAT River City, dial 911. We've got the back with our nice plate lights. And I think an essential if you're using this car is to have the push bar and wrap around bar. Uh, perfect for pit maneuvering suspects, uh, taking out fleeing vehicles, which is essential if you are uh, using this SWAT car. A lot of the times if you're uh, pulling up on an active shooter, they will try to escape in their fast car. So this is a really perfect car uh, for pretty much all situations, and it can be, usually be used to accompany a SWAT truck. Next up is the Falcon Advance SSV. This is more of a bulkier car. It's quite long. Uh, it doesn't have good maneuverability. It takes a while to get to top speed, uh, but it does look awesome. This could be used as pretty much a mini command post, or if you're just setting up, you've got a shooter or a bank rubber or something like that, just a corner off the area. Uh, less of a pursuit car, though it can be used for that if you want to, I would not recommend it. This is more of a transport car to get your mates into battle and bring everyone up to the crime scene. Now we do have, i am just turned all the lights on because it is night time and I'll just show you that uh, with free cam here. It looks absolutely amazing. So I, I still love this car, even though uh, it's, it has a couple of uh, downfalls in terms of speed maneuverability and uh, not being able to have a good speed. 
but it is still an awesome looking texture on this car. Let's take it out for a quick spin. As you can see there, not the best turning circle. So that is just uh, when I'm turning the car there and it's taken a while to get up to a good speed. So let's say there's a shooter in the park, you'd usually have some police cars and you'll head in with them there with your mates with a ballistic shield just to provide some cover. And that's pretty much all the vehicles for the SWAT aim pass with the SWAT truck and the textures. So just, that's the pretty much the end of all the content of the SWAT game pass. Now, is it worth it? So at the moment, uh, there is no specials on or anything. The current price for the SWAT game pass is 750 Robux, coming in as the most expensive game pass in ERLC. Now, is it worth 750? Mm, look, the content that you're mainly getting in this, so I will give you three pros and three cons, uh, cons of this game pass number one you get an invincible uh, police car so for ranking up purposes I definitely recommend getting the SWAT game pass whether that's with the G36C easily able to lay suspects down you've got the SWAT truck which is pretty much invincible rolling up on them is great and you can just sit in there and uh, tase them and arrest them so if you're looking to rank up XP really quickly and get to a higher rank in public service I de definitely recommend getting this SWAT game pass. Now compared to other game passes like the police customization pass coming in at 400 and the detective pass coming in at 300 you can actually get both of them and it is still cheaper than the SWAT team game pass. Now some of the cons of this you only get one vehicle and you're only getting three vehicle textures so if you're if you're not really going to use those vehicle textures and if you're not really going to use the SWAT uh, truck a lot I don't recommend getting the pass because I I think it's a lot for 750 robux just for this uh, but if you are going to use those uh, textures and the SWAT truck I would recommend it as well another good thing about the SWAT truck is you can transport six people in it but then again you've also got the six person transport which is the police van and that's that still does a great job with that uh, if you're in terms of role playing and setting up crime scenes and just doing all that and kind of staying back and just establishing a perimeter, I definitely recommend getting the police customize aim, uh, customization pass so you can change the look of your cars to make it look more realistic and the detective pass because that is perfect for that and it is still cheaper than the SWAT pass. But as I said before, if you really want to rank up XP, I definitely recommend getting the SWAT pass. Another super amazing thing about the SWAT pass is you get the ballistic shield. 100% blocks all bullets and the ballistic... Uh, vest so the SWAT vest blocks 15% of the bullet damage so again especially great for ranking up you can just grab the ballistic shield out you're safe you got the SWAT vest on so you take even less damage so that's my thoughts on the SWAT game pass that's everything for today guys so I hope you enjoyed the video be sure to smash the subscribe button comment down below and give this video a like till next time everybody goodbye